Hi, this is Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday and today we're going to make a magnetic mailbox for a cruise ship door. If you've been on a cruise before, you know you get lots of papers, like bunches and bunches, every single night. The daily paper that has the rundown of the next day's activities, the invitations to the art auction and health seminar, the ads for the boutiques and spa specials. On some ships, there are mailboxes installed on the wall to collect all those papers. On some ships, there aren't, so the steward is placing the papers in your door handle or sliding them under the door or placing them on your bed. If you're on one of the ships without mailboxes, like the Caribbean princess that now just has a screen instead of a mailbox, here's a project to help you and your steward find a place to put all those papers. Since the door, and the walls for that matter, are magnetic, today we're going to make this magnetic mailbox. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for this project you will need a 12 inch by 12 inch backing fabric, a 10 inch by 10 inch piece of front fabric, a 7 and a half by 11 and a half pocket fabric, you need to cut two of those, a product called Fusion Shape, you need a 10 inch by 10 inch piece of that, another product called Heat and Bond, you need a six and a half by ten and a half inch piece of that. You need nine and a half inch long strip magnets. You'll need two of those. And you'll need some bias tape measuring ten and a half inches long. That's the half inch wide kind. If you'd like a written copy of the supply list and directions, I've added a link in the description right below this video. We're going to first work with the pocket. Place one piece of the pocket fabric wrong side up. Center the heat and bond in the middle of the fabric and iron according to your packaging directions. Let it cool. Peel off the paper. Center the second piece of the pocket fabric with a wrong side facing down on top of the heat and bond. Iron to secure the two pieces together. You're going to have a half inch on each side that's not secured. We're going to cut those off. Making sure to only include portions of the fabric that are adhered together Go ahead and trim the pieces to six and a half by ten and a half inches. Now let's sew on the bias tape along one of those ten and a half inch sides. Now set the pocket aside. Place the biggest piece of the backing fabric wrong side facing up. Now we're going to add a product to give some support to the mailbox, something called Fusion Shape. Center the Fusion Shape on top of the backing. You'll have some space all the way around that won't get covered. It's supposed to be that way. Then place the other piece of the backing fabric wrong side facing down on top of that. Follow the directions on your fuse and shape packaging to iron the little sandwich we've made. Since the fuse and shape is thick, you're gonna have to do this in stages. Iron one side to secure, then flip the entire piece over and iron the other side down. You might even have to flip it over again and iron it some more on the front or again on the back. Be really careful not to let your iron touch that fusion shape. It'll make a mess if it does. Let it cool. Now place your pocket on top of that backing sandwich and align those bottom edges. You're gonna notice your pocket is a bit wider than your backing. We're gonna use that extra little fabric to make a little pleat to provide a little bit more room in that mailbox. Fold your pocket in half to find the center point. Again, place your pocket on the backing piece and align the bottom and the right edge and the left edge. Then where your middle point is, fold the fabric over on itself just a little bit to make your pleat. Your right and left bottom edges should still be all aligned. Pin it or clip it to hold it temporarily. Now at the machine, go ahead and stitch the sides and the bottom portion of the pocket to attach it to the backing piece. We're gonna use a narrow eighth of an inch seam allowance. This will keep it from shifting for the next step. Now we need to take care of all the edges all the way around. We're gonna use that excess fabric from our backing to make our binding. So fold over the edge half an inch and press it. Fold the edge over another half an inch and press it. Then go ahead and pin or clip it onto the front all the way around. Then back at your machine, go ahead and stitch all the way around the mailbox close to that edge to secure that binding to it. All right, flip the mailbox over to the back. Use your hot glue to add those two magnet strips to the back. I can happily report I used the mailbox for 31 consecutive days on a cruise ship, and it worked out great. 
our cabin steward, he even delivered some special mail to us using the mailbox. If you'd like to see more craft projects like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And stop by the blog at debsdays.com. See you next week with another project. Bye.